In this video, we will focus on the curriculum for four and five-year-olds. ResourceWell also offers simplified versions of these lessons for the two and three-year-olds. As the children arrive, welcome them individually and invite each child to open the treasure chest, which can be any small decorated box. Opening it, they discover a sticker or a hand stamp. This little gift not only introduces the story, but it engages the child right away. And it's a great distraction for a child who may be a bit nervous or hesitant at first. Once all the children are present, teach the child the whisper verse. The class will repeat the whisper verse throughout the whole lesson. Many times, it's the answer to the question you'll be asking them later. Knowing the whisper verse gives children confidence and helps them remember the aim or the story. You can use the sign language in the guide or you can make up your own motions. Once the child knows the whisper verse, he or she can join the others in free play until all the children have arrived. Free play for children ages four and five might include puzzles, blocks, or any toys that can be shared. Direct children ages two and three to activity centers for more structured playtime. After everyone has been given their stamp and taught the whisper verse, it's time for clearing away toys used during free play. The cleanup song, or one like it, is a great way to help the children transition into the next segment. For ages four and five, the worship segment is called Praise Time. During Praise Time, you may have a place where classrooms can combine to worship all together as one large group. If not, be sure to designate a certain area of your room for worship. To help with the transition, play the Praise Time song as children move to that area. We worship God for who He is by focusing on one of His attributes. Each unit explores a different attribute of God, such as the God who provides, or the King who knows our hearts. During praise time, it's very important that the children see you worshiping God. When the children watch you fully engage in worship, the singing, hand motions, and prayer, they will follow your lead and model your attitude. During the worship, children sing the unit Bible memory verse song, and other songs that connect to an attribute of God or the lesson aim. Be sure to add hand motions, and you may even march around the area as you sing the songs. Praise time also includes an illustration. It's a puppet show or a storybook that can be read by the worship leader or volunteer. In the puppet show, the worship leader interacts with Delbert the donkey and Lello the lamb. The children identify with Delbert and Lello, they view the characters as their friends, and they look forward to seeing them each time. Whether they watch the puppet show or listen to the storybook, they learn right along with Delbert and Lello about the Bible story and how to apply it to their lives. During praise time, your worship leader should also review the whisper verse and collect an offering as well. As you transition from the worship to the word, it's ideal to change rooms or locations within your room. It can be as simple as gathering the children on a blanket in one special corner of the room. Whatever you do, moving their bodies will help them focus when they hear the Bible story. Right before the Bible story, lead the class in reciting the classroom promise. Reciting the promise helps the children quiet down and focus on the story. Now it's time to get out your Bible. Treat it like a special treasure. You might reward a child for good behavior by having him get the Bible for you. Be sure to have some kind of a visual, a picture from a children's Bible, a coloring page, a sample of the craft, or a physical object that is mentioned in the story. To tell the children the Bible story, you can read the Watch the Word poem. If you prefer to put it into your own words, include each point from the poem. After they have heard the story from you, the lesson presents two questions. The children will answer one question by repeating the whisper verse. They'll always find the answer to the second question in the Bible because we want the children to know that the Bible is the place we go to find our answers. The questions are simple and help the children gain confidence in their understanding of the story. The Way segment for ages four and five contains a craft, a snack, and two games, all designed to reinforce the story or the aim. Crafts and games can be presented at the same time in different areas of the room 
or one at a time, depending on your class size and teaching style. If craft supplies are not available, use the coloring page as your craft. Ask the craft discussion questions to reinforce the story and lesson aim as the children work on their crafts. The snack also relates to the story and includes discussion questions as well. The games are simple but very important because the children get to use their bodies to reinforce the story or the aim. The craft, games, and snack are the key ways we teach the lesson. After the activities, it's time for the circle of prayer. See children in a circle. As you pray, walk around the circle and lay your hand on each child's shoulder and say that child's name lifting his or her name up to God. If you have a very small group, you may want to include their specific needs, but it's important to keep the prayer time brief to hold everyone's attention. Remind the children that God already knows their needs and then lift up their names to the Lord. You'll find that the children listen intently to hear you pray for them by name. This prayer reinforces the fact that God loves them and cares for them. The children will always remember how you prayed for them each time, and that will impact their own prayer lives and build their relationships with God. At this point, if you have more than five minutes left, you can lead the children in one or more of the activities included in the Got Time segment. There you'll find a Say and Do activity where they act out motions to the Watch the Word poem. You'll also find two games that help them remember the Bible memory verse. These games are the same throughout the unit, so they become familiar favorites. If you still have time and would like to read them a story, be sure to read one that connects to the aim of the lesson. When you have only five minutes left, it's time for the final five segment. This closing segment is the time you remind them to use their craft to explain the Bible story to their families. Gather their crafts and take home Bible study, the Ponder, Play, and Pray. You may want to place these items along with any coloring they have done in one paper bag with the child's name on it. The Ponder, Play, and Pray card presents the Bible story passage, a prayer, and an activity for the child to enjoy with family members. It takes the Bible story and the aim into the home. It's a tool to help parents take the lead in guiding their children's spiritual growth. It is our hope that each child heads home not only knowing a little more about who God is and what He has done, but having experienced God's love and His kindness along the way.